Josh is very task oriented. He's a uh, He's Johnny on the spot, if you will. My name is Josh Miller. I'm a power systems engineer. I've been doing this for about eight years now, so I've got some pretty good experience in terms of interacting with different types of inner of equipment, but also individuals in terms of these situations being on site. So originally coming from a an electrician background, I quickly found out that EPSCO had a whole nother standard of hazard recognition, PPE requirements, all of these things that I wasn't doing on a regular basis, which are generally, I mean, this is, these are things that are required. PPE, safe work practices, these are all things that I should have been doing originally that I wasn't doing, and it's something that majority of electricians aren't doing. And it's like, I'll run into them, I've had to send electricians home, these are things that uh, are not typically being recognized on a regular basis in your typical daily task or your, your typical electrical job. Electrical safety, um, this is something that's obviously super rewarding. So this is something that uh, being able to help individuals improve their electrical safety, this is something that obviously is rewarding to me because obviously I get to help individuals grow, but also um, just seeing the different um, impacts that we can have on different facilities is obviously super huge. Um, something that we're able to help them grow, um, obviously help them improve safety, but also uh, help them just make sure everybody goes home every day. I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard to explain. I don't know, it's, it's like there's, it's a bigger picture. So it's just being able to make sure everybody is uh, understanding, intelligent about what's going on, and just understand like the hazards they're dealing with is, is a big deal. Personally, I enjoy hiking dirt biking, snowboarding, um, anything getting outside. Um, I live in Colorado, so I enjoy the mountain life. Josh is, if I met Josh at a bar or something, I wouldn't say Josh, I would never have guessed this is his field. You know what I'm saying? He just, he just has so many other interests. I, I think he said he was a, a sous chef or something like that. I'm like, I never would have made that connection. But, um, but he has a passion for what he does. and when. When you can get him to talk about the job specifically, you can tell. I mean, he loves what he does, you know, and he loves the company. My favorite part of my job is I think I genuinely save lives. I think that I work with people that need this information, and I think being able to provide this information to them allows them to work safer and genuinely allows them to react in a way that makes their lives and their work tasks safer. Yeah, I mean, after being to hundreds, hundreds of different facilities, I mean, I'm, I'm able to have a pretty good understanding of what types of situations these guys are dealing with, what type of PPE they're having to suit up to on a regular basis. I'm, so I'm starting to have a pretty good understanding of what your daily tasks involve. So with that, I'm able to get a pretty good understanding of what these guys have to deal with every day. Um, so with that information, we're able to move forward to administrative controls, all these other, other things that we're, we're able to be able to react to the information that we're receiving from this arc flash study. So with that information, we're able to move forward, make changes, wear correct PPE, change how we're reacting to different hazards. There's a lot of different things that are going to come out of this. That it's That's the whole point of a study. That's the whole point of getting this information to react to it, is, is, is to know what we're working around. EPSCO has one of the best cultures I've ever worked for. Um, when we look at different jobs, when we look at different situations, we're looking at actual environments, actual hazards, and we're taking a realistic approach towards these type of situations. We're not trying to capitalize on certain situations. We're trying to actually react, make things safer, make things better for the people that are working there. And I think that's super important because obviously that's gonna have a result that reflects safety not capitalizing on a certain situation. I think, I feel like the integrity of what EPSCO is, is beyond me. But like, that's where I feel like, I feel like EPSCO is, uh, EPSCO's bigger than me. And it's like, I, it's, it's nothing to be with like being hard on myself. EPSCO just has a bigger picture. 
involved. And I think that's what's like, me being part of that is part of what drives me. And I think that uh, seeing that is what makes me a, a big part of who I am. I don't know how else to put it. I think that a lot of like who I am, where I'm headed, is because of what EBSCO has given me in terms of a direction. And I think that that reflects directly on our guys.